What's up, candle makers? This is Inquisitive Chimney. Leeches are a bizarre animal. A long, long time ago, before any of you could possibly remember, I made a short little video asking some questions I had about leeches. You know, do leeches have lungs? Can leeches drown? Can leeches survive in a vacuum? How does different types of blood affect leeches? Today, I realized that, hey, I can find the answers to all of those questions. So that's what we're gonna be doing today because I upload two videos a month, and my first one this month was actually the size of like three videos, so I'm exhausted. Speaking of which, do leeches sleep? This was a surprisingly difficult question to find an answer to. I thought it'd be like one Google search. The best that got me was a guy from 2009 saying that they did. The answer to this question is not easily accessible information. Either nobody's looked into it, or they're keeping it a secret. Leeches are a type of worm though, and very closely related to earthworms specifically, and I was able to find a Dr. Kevin Butts one paragraph claim that earthworms might or might not sleep, but they do enter a dormant state known as dyspause during the daytime when they use up less oxygen. However, this dormant state is actually called diapause? So, I mean, I get it, the keys are right next to each other, but this was the like the one source I could find on this that looked kind of trustworthy, and now I'm questioning it. This dude on Quora said that leeches don't sleep, but he's a chemical guy, he's not a leech guy, and he also said that leeches are more predominantly active at night, but they aren't less active during the day. I feel like there's actually some sort of disinformation campaign around this. This video was supposed to take like an hour to write. I have so many more leech questions to get through after this one. Looking into it though, diapause isn't quite the same as sleep. It's basically a state of dormancy where animals stop growing and slow down their body systems so as to use less energy. It's a bit like hibernation, but way more short term and more about pausing an organism's growth slash development. This is getting to be a bit more of an actual research video than I intended, so I'm gonna have all of the sources that I found listed in the description. Anytime you see a bracketed number appear on screen, you can check that reference below. There are quite a lot, but that's because most of these sources only answered an individual question, and I, I, got, a, I got a lot of questions. Anyway, I think that for the moment on this question, the best I can say is that leeches might sleep, but they almost definitely enter a diapause state during their less active hours of the day, and this might replace their need for sleep entirely. Maybe. Okay, done with that, time for something easier. What happens if a leech latches onto another leech? Yeah, okay, this was not easier. Nobody has answered this question anywhere that I could find. I think the best thing to do here is to just, like, look at the way a leech's anatomy works, and try to figure out what would happen myself. My next question was gonna be, what if three leeches latch onto each other in a triangle? Like, would the blood just keep flowing around them like some kind of nightmare blood rotation? So, we can try to answer that one here too. The first thing you have to know is that only some leeches suck blood. Most leeches are predatory and just eat stuff, sometimes including other leeches. They're still sanguivores, fun word, means they consume blood. They just get the blood from crushing up the blood's owner instead of pulling it out of them. The parasitic leeches, that don't kill the things they get blood from, generally latch onto stuff that's quite a bit bigger than they are. Birds, frogs, humans, you get it. However, leeches do have an organ called a crop, which is for storing consumed blood and takes up quite a lot of their body. So, theoretically, a parasitic leech could probably latch onto another parasitic leech and pull blood from their crop. And theoretically, Three or more leeches could do this in a circle and create a nightmare blood rotation. Can leeches see? Do leeches have eyes? How do they know when something's nearby? Do leeches have ears? Finally, a bunch of questions that I can actually answer with ease. So, Dr. Kevin Butt says no eyes, other places say yes eyes, but this is basically just a disagreement over what eyes means. They don't have eyes in the traditional sense, in that they can't form a picture with them, but they do have photosensitive cells that can detect light. So if a shadow passes over them, they'll know about it. It's the same as we probably had before those photosensitive bits got more complex and became eyes. Here's a photo of the Australian terrestrial leech, and you can see its eyes right there, it's those black spots. Leeches have five pairs of these eyes on their head, and apparently over 300 eyes across their whole body? 
To give you some context on just how crap these eyes are, though, they've each got 50 photoreceptors, and a human eye has over 100 million. If a leech had 2 million eyes, it wouldn't even add up to a single human eye. Also, they're very colorblind. Leeches don't have ears, but their bodies are covered in receptors that let them feel vibrations, which, I mean, kind of counts as hearing? If you consider hearing and feeling to be the same? Because they're both sensing vibrations, I guess you could get a bit kooky with it and claim that it's the same sense expressed in a different way and humans only have four senses total, if you define a sense by what it senses and not how it's interpreted in the brain. But no, leeches don't have ears, humans have five senses, feeling and hearing are different senses. I don't know why we'd even bring that up. They can apparently also sense carbon dioxide though, which tells their little leech brains that something is breathing nearby and they can use that to help get to them. The more I learn about these guys, the more I don't respect them. I mean, it's interesting and all, but also, come on, dude. It's a bit like birds. Birds have wings that rely on an atmosphere. Leeches have senses that rely on the chemistry and function of other animals' as breathing. It's interesting, and nature's impressive, and blah blah blah, but I'm so glad I'm a human, dude. How lucky that a human can go to space and our body still works without, like, gravity. We don't rely on gravity to pump blood or digest food or anything. All the things we do rely on, like food and water and air, it's so easy to just carry with us. Imagine trying to be a bird astronaut and you just got these two useless limbs that won't do anything because there's no atmosphere to fly with. You can't carry an atmosphere with you. Imagine being a leech and having to rely on something else releasing carbon dioxide or you starve to death. I have no respect for them. Speaking of astronauts, though, what about an astronaut leech? Do leeches have lungs? Can you drown a leech? Could a leech survive in the vacuum of space, given that it had enough heat to not freeze? Yeah, no. Leeches got no lungs, leeches got no gills. Basically, humans have fine blood vessels called capillaries in our lungs that can exchange gas in and out, and leeches have blood vessels that do the same job all along the surface of their body. Their body wall is able to just pull oxygen in directly through normal gas exchange. If you don't know how that works, same thing as in our lungs, gases try to equalize. So when blood carrying low oxygen and high carbon dioxide enters a space with high oxygen and low carbon dioxide, they'll try to equalize out. Think like if you filled a room in your house with nitrogen, then opened the door. It would spread all over the house and equalize. It doesn't just stay there, they swap. So leeches can drown, and leeches can't be suitless astronauts if you just strap them to a radiator. They don't die instantly in water, and some can swim, but keep them down there long enough and they're done for. Then there are freshwater leeches, which do the same thing for breathing, but they can do it in water as well. And if the water doesn't have enough oxygen, they'll go to the surface because they can do air, and yeah. How do leeches digest blood and turn it into energy? Do leeches have their own blood? Would a leech be able to survive on custard if it came down to it? A leech would not be able to survive on custard. I can't find any official source for this, but I feel confident. Leeches digest blood in their intestines, which they do have, by breaking it down with enzymes. So, as you'd predict. What's funny is that, presumably, the blood they take in already has broken down resources in it, which might be why they don't need an acidic stomach. Nutrients only go into our blood after they've been processed, so a leech is a bit on easy street when it comes to the processing. Leeches do also have their own blood, and it's pumped around using four sinuses that act like a heart, Presumably not so much pumping is needed since their blood doesn't have to route to any lungs, given that the leeches just breathe through their skin. Also, it's not actually blood. It's hemokalemic fluid, but it fulfills the same purpose, so let's just call it blood. There's not a ton of easy to find information about the exact differences between blood and hemokalemic fluid, but it's red, it has hemoglobin, and it circulates the body to transport oxygen and nutrients. So, it's blood. What about if a mosquito bit a leech? I mean, it could probably happen. Good luck finding any information confirming it, though. Nothing comes up when you look. Just like another leech, a mosquito could theoretically pull blood out of a leech's crop organ, and I imagine that a mosquito's proboscis could pierce a leech to get to it, so yeah, maybe. Especially if it was a really fat leech that had just filled up on blood. How do leeches make baby leeches? Can a leech be pregnant, or do they lay eggs? You might have been able to guess this one, but yeah, asexual reproduction, worm style. Two leeches will get each other pregnant. And they do lay eggs. They also stick around to take care of the children after they hatch, help them out with getting food and stuff. 
Good on leeches, that was surprising to me. They're actually pretty good parents. If an animal ate a leech but didn't kill it, what would go down inside that animal? It'd probably be messed up for a bit. The leech would get digested really fast, we've got acids, but it could do some crazy stuff. And with how they're able to suction onto things, they could really stop themselves at any point along your digestive tract, esophagus, ugh. If medieval doctors used to cut off the ends of leeches for endless bloodletting, and the leech stayed alive until it starved to death, how far up the leech can you go? Could you have a living leech that's just the paper-thin front portion, or at what point along the leech does the cutting become fatal? Yeah, okay, so I heard somewhere that they used to cut off the ends of leeches to get them to drain more blood, but actually looking into it now, it seems like that might have been a myth. Medieval doctors would just let the leech drain its normal amount of blood over like 45 minutes. Besides that, we've actually looked at leech anatomy now, and we know that there's definitely a point where the leech would die. Probably instant death, about three quarters up, and eventual death, anywhere that took out most of the intestines. Do leeches have brains? Do leeches have a nervous system? I think it's funny that this question asked, do leeches have brains? And actually, yes. A single leech does have brains. 32 of them. Though it's actually just one brain that's in 32 pieces spread out all over the body. It's one single consciousness, just in more than one place, connected by the nervous system. Imagine if your brain's hemispheres were separated to be at each end of your spine. So some places say that they have one brain, other places say they have 32. It's like the eye thing, they're saying the same thing with just a difference of organ definition. I'd probably call it one brain as well. How do leeches move? Is their entire body just one hollow, inflatable muscle? You might think that leeches slither, and I'm an idiot for asking this question at all 34 months ago, but I was actually cooking. Turns out land leeches don't slither. They slinky. They have a sucker on each end, and they vacuum seal it to a surface and just start going with it. The back sucker is called the caudal sucker, and it doesn't link to their digestive tract. Leeches aren't symmetrical front to back. Freshwater leeches pretty much just move how you'd expect them to, swimming like a ribbon. How do different blood types affect leeches? How about things like crab blood that's blue or something? Are leeches limited in their blood diet, or is it just so long as it's blood? So, no. Leeches don't care if you're A, B, AB, or O type blood. They digest it all the same. I can't find anything about them eating blue crab blood, but presumably it would be alright since it's not actually all that different from other animals' blood, chemically speaking, and leeches can go after birds, frogs, fish, humans, cows, so on. They'd need to find a not-shell part of the crab to take it from, though. Yeah, so this is another question about the medieval cut a leech in half thing that apparently didn't happen. But leeches take ages to digest blood, as in several months, so any drainage of their crop organ that happened at all would probably empty them out before they were done with it. Big enough hole would be a problem, starve to death. Can a leech latch onto the back end of itself? Uh, probably, just knowing how suction works. Wouldn't be able to pull much blood out of there though. The one thing to check is how exactly leeches create suction. Because if they need to push something out of the back in order to pull something in from the front, like a straw does, then they wouldn't actually be able to create any suction at all if the back end was blocked. They would only be able to suck in one direction at once. I actually found this awesome as hell article that is like thousands of words long, all about leech suction discs and sucker morphology, and I was so glad to see that there's at least a couple of proper articles about leeches. It came with all sorts of diagrams, all the information you could ever need, it was brilliant. They were testing how leech suction works on absorbent materials, metal meshes, it was a blast. Anyway, no. Their suckers aren't linked together, so they can engage them both simultaneously, and they can latch the front one onto the back one. How do leeches get rid of waste? Are leeches 100% efficient? So, leeches get rid of waste in the form of ammonia, and it comes out the underside of them. They are actually pretty bloody efficient too. <laughs> Some leeches only need to feed once or twice a year, which I actually have to respect. I'm kind of onto leeches now, they're not so bad. I mean, they'll never be an astronaut, not unless we do all the heavy lifting and just put them in a rocket that we build, and even then we'll have to make them a spacesuit as well, but I mean, they're alright. 
eat once a year, look after their child duplicates as they grow up. This sensing carbon dioxide thing is pretty clever and cool, if a bit over-reliant on how things are in this specific environment. They got medical benefits. I'm alright with leeches now.